Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And one thing, if you guys see any difference in this video, first of all, wearing a different color shirt because I'm testing out something new. Second of all, the quality is gonna be 10 times better because I'm gonna let you guys do the math, but we got a new camera. I finally spent some of the YouTube money that I've been saving up. I was gonna use it for rims and then I thought about it and I was like, maybe I should just upgrade my microphone and my camera at the same time so I can give you guys a way better experience while I'm filming these videos because I know if the content might be good but the camera is trash and the mic is trash you know it's gonna be a horrible video so i'm really hoping this will be completely completely next level things you know with that out of the way we're gonna get started with the topic of the day which is something that people always ask me about to talk about something that people we share different opinions with a lot of people especially on youtube people like to express their mind really openly in the comments and in this video we're gonna be talking about what is the difference between a regular summer performance tire and a regular performance run flat tire which one's the best one for you the different reasons why they will be perfect for you if you want to run flat tire or why it will be perfect for you if you want a summer tire there's cons and pros to both of them not just in like the experience of you driving but also the cost and all their advantages and disadvantages of having run flat tires compared to when you have in summer tires i am a little biased at this but i'm gonna keep, try to give the best opinion that i can when i say i'm biased is because in my bmw i love to run bridgestone potential tenses s 001s i'm running the performance run flat tires in my opinion i think they're great they don't bother me and i've been running them for like five four years i don't know how long i've ever had the 335 for any of my other cars i like to run run flats too not in the subaru i know you guys cannot see it but it's covered right there this camera is great guys it actually fixes the light by itself unlike the gopro and the canon that i used to use so look if i show the Subaru, which my Subaru is actually covered up. I'll show you guys in a different video. It fixes the lighting perfectly fine. I like to run run flat tires, a whole thing of reasons why. And I also wrote down some facts and look up a lot of stuff, like uh, comparisons between these tires and these tires, because like I said, each tire is different. You guys are not gonna compare an off-roading tire against a summer tire, or you guys are not gonna compare us a winter tire versus an old season tire. They're almost the same thing because people might not know. If you don't really know, you're gonna see, oh, it's just rubber and you put it on the rim and you're good to go no it, it it all depends if it's a daily driver and you really don't care about it you can run any tires you want but if it's a car that you want to do performance on that like you want to be fast you want to race you want to take it to the track or you just want simply something that you can do both it'll be really cool if you check out these tires and i'm going to tell you about it in a second so first i'm going to give you the definition a couple of facts about here and there and then i'm going to tell you the cons and pros and then after i'm finished with each section i'm going to give you the best tires you can get this is not just from my own experience with tires because i've gone through a lot of tires over the years but also i'm gonna give you uh what people say online uh websites like bridgestone or michelin uh what they think the best tire is or what condition i'm gonna be leaving what i'm reading off from the screen because i like you guys to know what i'm reading so first what is a run flat tire i'm not gonna really explain that much what a regular tire is because i'm really sure that you guys know by now because tires most common thing in the world you just put them on drive but a lot of people don't know and a lot of people actually like to hate on the run flat tires because they don't understand how they work they don't uh they think they're just bad and they don't want to like move on there's actually a whole science that goes on with tires actually this is a definition of a run flat tire is a tire on which you can continue driving after a puncture so you can take the time to an out to take the car to an auto shop or a repair shop or a safe place to replace your tire in my definition a run flat tire is a tire that uh, has a reinforced and that's actually how it works the run flat tires are heavier than the actual normal tires and there's a reason why they're actually heavier and the reason for that is because they have a thicker sidewall it's a reinforced sidewall and i'm going to be leaving pictures of what i'm talking about so you guys can get a better idea and the reinforced uh, sidewall actually can hold the weight of the vehicle so you guys can actually keep driving up to 50 miles most of them are 50 miles mine are most up to 50 miles and you can safely go and change the tire without stopping the vehicle there's actually two types of uh, run flat tires and one of them is going to be the self-supporting system and the support ring system most of the times you're going to see the self-supporting system that's the one that i told you guys about that the tire can actually hold the weight of the vehicle and it's pretty pretty good and the other one is the ring system and the ring system is basically instead of reinforced sidewalls what it has is rings it looks it's not rings but it looks like rings i'm gonna leave the picture so you guys can get the idea but it's basically the tires here you know the sidewalls on the side and basically underneath the actual thing of the, of the tire is supporting
supported with like a i think it's rubber I don't, i'm not really sure don't quote me now, but it basically looks like rims basically circles all around so basically the tire will go flat a little bit and then it can keep rolling run flats they have a specific limit so they're saying if you run over let's say a nail or a screw or glass and your tire gets a puncture you guys can still drive the vehicle there's a specific uh, speed and distance you cannot drive more than 50 miles an hour and you cannot also drive more than 50 miles i mean 50 miles an hour with a exploded tire is not really that bad in my opinion you know what are the advantages and disadvantages of having a run flat tire first of all the advantages that you can get let's say you guys are driving on the freeway and your tire explodes if you guys i, I hope nothing like this will ever happen to any of you guys but if you guys have experienced that situation the first thing that will happen if is you're going to lose control of the vehicle especially if the tires explode on the front the back not that much but the front ones are, are holding and supporting the weight of the engine so let's say your right tire explodes the first thing your car is going to do is go on the rim and then go on the sideways and you can actually cause an accident and that's really bad you guys don't want that to happen to you i'm gonna turn on the car guys because it's hot as hell in this car Whew. okay now that we have the ac on is a little better inside okay so now that we talk about the first one the other benefit that we can get from run flat tires is the convenience let's say you guys just came out of work just came out of school whatever you guys are doing and a tire explodes on you if you guys are car guys you guys probably must know about it it's super easy to replace a spare you just get the jack out of the back and then just start pumping the car and then after that you just replace it with the little tools they give you and everything that kills time and at the same time it's really uncomfortable and inconvenient let's say for example that happens to you on the freeway horrible you have to pull out to the side let's say something will happen like a crash or something is inconvenient you know something can happen to you something can happen to your car you lose time and let's say it's raining that will be 10 times worse you know and you guys don't want that to happen to you that's the benefits you can get from a run flat tire it's basically convenience but it's not all sunshine and rainbows there's actually cons also to the run flat tire itself i don't think they're cons in my opinion because what you're getting it's what you pay for but one of them and the main is going to be cost if you're not buying an expensive like toyo proxis or, or michelin uh super sports or whatever like expensive summer tire you're getting a regular tire is going to run you around 100 bucks to 150 bucks anything above that's going to be a performance tire the problem with that is when you guys actually want to do a good run flat tire that can handle performance summer conditions or if you want like slippery conditions you can do all season twos if you want it's they're kind of expensive uh i'm talking about for my car i think each potenza's s001 run to like between 200 and 300 bucks and if you buy them from a dealership which i never recommend you do i took my car to the dealership and they told me oh yeah it's gonna be like 500 per tire i'm like 500 per tire man what are you talking about and they say yeah well the labor and then the parts and then i'm like you know what forget it bro i'll just go get it somewhere else so that is the main thing the cost they're actually more expensive than regular tires but at the same time like i explained to you you do get the convenience of not having to stop or worrying about if my tire explodes i can cause an accident the second cons i can actually testify for this one they say is reduced tire wear and what i'm saying with this is it's not going to last you as long as a regular tire because it's a smaller tire but it's a heavier tire i don't really know how to explain it perfectly but i will buy my tires new and then in my other car i'll buy them new and then i I will drive them both let's say the same amount the tires on the run flat the run flat tires on the bmw would actually go way faster than the ones on the regular subaru or other bmws it doesn't even matter what car it is they will last you less it all depends how much you drive what are you doing when you're driving of course if you're doing drifts or doing donuts or like just racing of course they're gonna go away super fast but if you guys are just doing regular driving they should last you a really good year you know good two years around 20,000 miles on your regular tires last you 30 around 30,000. but this one's gonna last you significantly less it, like i said it all depends on your driving but for my driving i know it doesn't last me that long and the last one is going to be a stiffer ride i never understood this one just because i have tracked this vehicle and i have daily drive did it i don't do it anymore but i've done it and for me the performance was really good i've also ran the car on summer michelin uh, pilot sports 4s's which is a really good summer tire i actually have it on my list right here it felt not the same but it felt a little grip here on the michelin's but this one actually for a run flat tire felt really cool it felt it was handling the power that i was giving to it no problems at all i understand what people mean it's a stiffer ride but at the same time i i really don't get why they will say that and complain make it a big deal because unless you're like listening to everything
same you just basically want to find something wrong with it you guys are not even going to notice it yo one thing before we keep going make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video because if you guys subscribe to the channel you get more stuff and we can do more videos and it will push the channel forward so if you're enjoying this content make me the favor and go subscribe to the channel right now lastly i have for you guys the best tires you can get that are run flats and also performance tires at the same time of course we have mine which uh there will be the potensis s 001s they'll run you around 200 to 300 bucks i'm gonna leave a picture how much they are in every single one of them after that we had the pirelli's p0 and actually the pirelli's p0 is a really good tire it's compared to the bridgestone but i've heard the uh, pirelli p0 they actually last you significantly less than this one so in that case that comes might be true but i cannot do it for myself because i have never ran that tire we also have the michelin pilot sports as which is all season they're a run flat all season tire never try them and they're actually really good we also have the michelin sports 4s zp and the zp or zp stands for zero pressure it's almost the same as the all season but they're just regular season tires the 4s michelins are basically a, a mix with the pilot sports and the super cop if you guys have never driven a car that has the michelin super cops twos they're super grippy they're huge tires but you know they're worth the price really cool tire and the last one we also have a different potenza which is the bridgestone potenza's s007a run flat tire never seen it but it was voted one of the best tires of 2022 and i'm gonna leave the website that i'm reading about it down below so you guys can check it out for yourself and see if these tires are for you okay guys now that i explained to you what a run flat tire is i gave you the cons and pros i also give you the examples of the tires let's talk about a little bit of regular tires a summer performance tires what is that it's a tire that actually comes equipped in high-end vehicles like bmws mercedes gtrs porsches they all come in cars that are made to have a really good performance you can actually put them on regular vehicles the problem with those with the high performance tires is they mostly come in big sizes like 18 and up why would you want to run a summer tire like i said it's all about your taste if you like how it handles it will handle 10 times better they'll be super cool you know it will have better grip i don't know about the speed i've heard that michelin pilot sports for they actually give you a really good grip and the handling is super good i heard they're really bad on the wet conditions but at the same time it is a summer tire it's not supposed to be a rain tire but you guys do this information you guys can do whatever you want with it i also have a list of the tires the best regular tires that you can find these are performance summer tires for vehicles of all kind but performance vehicles in most cases which is the king of the queens the michelin pilot sports 4s like i said that's a mix of the michelin pilot sports and the michelin super cups they're a really good tire worth the money they're kind of expensive i'm actually those are the ones i run when i track and i wouldn't trade them for anything i really like how they handle i like how they look because i mean there's a stigma in the car community the michelin is the best tire and it is and it looks super cool you have the decal of the michelin man just on the side really cool we got a bridgestone potenza re 11 i'm gonna be living pictures you guys can get the idea i never driven this tire i've heard good things about it but i also saw a video about this tires the thread actually went away by two laps it was already collapsing but it handled the heat better so this tires let me turn the car because i'm dying guys oof, oof, okay that's the radio detector by the way and we also have the michelin pilot super sports those were the old versions of michelin pilot sports 4s really great tire we also had the continental extreme contact sport i actually had this tire for a while thinking it was a run flat and it wasn't and let me tell you guys it is super super grippy i think i have this tire on my not in this videos but i think videos from like 2020 so two years ago i was actually running those tires on the back and i was running potenzas on the front but let me tell you those tires are super super grippy i never tracked on them but on the street i was always like because i we live in mexico this is tj right here but i will be racing here and there we'll doing burnouts and like stuff like that and those tires were really actually hard to do cornering on because of my corners i like to do a little not a full drift but like just uh, power slides and with those tires it was almost impossible it was super super grippy which is i mean it's a good thing for the track but for my, my tastes are a little way too grippy for me so in my end i wouldn't ride on continentals just because they're really grippy tires and the last one we got nito nt555 nitos are a different kind of tires they're more for like drag performance tires but also for track you see them in cars like american muscle vehicles actually my friend draw which he doesn't film anymore but draw actually wanted to get the nito tires on his uh 5.0 mustang and they were super good tires really really grippy but that's what i'm saying summer tires happen to be super grippy and that is the point because they grip to the track yeah i mean it all depends on your taste so what is the cons of those tires the 
cons for the regular summer tires are gonna be that if they explode you have to pull over on the freeway get out the jack get out the spare and start doing that to work in the middle of the freeway the busy intersection everything another disadvantage of the summer tire is they get punctures more often because they don't have the reinforced sidewall and the or if they have the rings they actually can get per, a puncture way faster than the other ones the only other thing that i have cons over regular tires is a lot of people say they're really noisy especially the michelin ones so i understand what people mean by that but at the same time i don't because i don't know probably because my car has a loud exhaust so when i'm doing racing or just doing like a video i've never been here the tire because my exhaust is so obnoxiously loud that i hear that but a lot of people say uh, regular tires are actually super loud don't quote me on it i don't think they are i've ridden both of them they feel comfortable to me and they also don't seem that loud especially because it says it's a big rim you know it's an 18 19 20 especially most performing cars comes 19 20 and some of them 21 so in my opinion they're not loud i don't understand what people mean by that because i understand what you're rolling you can hear it sometimes but most of the times if it's a low tire like this you cannot hear it so with all this being said i'm gonna give you guys the choice if you guys do you think i convinced you of getting summer tires or do you think i convinced you of getting run flat tires i know it was more specified to the run flat side but like i explained to you most people out there they don't know what a run flat tire is or how do they work and they only know regular tires that's why the video was more centered over there to the run flat section because it's something that people don't really know about but like i said i'm a, with the cons and benefits i'm gonna leave you guys to do your own decision i just wanted to give you guys a little more broad explanation if you guys didn't know what tire to choose from yeah guys i really hope you guys did enjoy this video i really hope the quality and the microphone quality actually became 10 times better from what i can tell it is super good that's going to be it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it really go hope you guys make a really smart decision let me know down below in the comments what tires will you go for and why regular videos are back so stay tuned subscribe to the channel if you haven't guys that's gonna be it enjoy guys